Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi, guys. Welcome to the uh, Beverly Hillbilly Spikes and Trivia. Almost messed up there. Uh, today's video is on Irene Ride and how she bought martinis for Max Bear Jr. Uh, during his Beverly Hillbillies audition. And some of you must know this because you did pretty good on the on the trivia question from yesterday. So anyway, or the day before yesterday, whenever it was. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, if you had to go through a stressful experience, it's always best to bring Irene Ryan to go through it alongside you, if you can. Not everyone is lucky enough to have Irene Ryan and Irene Ryan, sadly. But for Max Bear Jr., having her with him during his audition for the Beverly Hillbillies could very well have won him the role of Jethro. According to Beverly Hillbillies, an overview of the series written by Stephen Cox, Bear just happened to be testing for his role on the same day that Ryan was testing for the role of Granny. When the two had a bit of free time for a meal during their auditions, they decided to head out together. Bear said at lunchtime, we both went over to this place called The Shack, around the corner from General Service Studios, where the tests were being done, and she bought me martinis. Bear continued, well, I'm not a drinker, and the martinis just knocked me right on my butt. So when I came back to the set, I was supposed to walk into this cabin in the scene, and I, as I go through the door, I bumped into the door jam with my shoulder, and I looked at the door, door jam and said, excuse me with that stupid grin on my face. Uh, it was an audition that made the casting directors, directors realize that Bear would be the perfect for uh, the character, who was clumsy and a bit dim-witted, uh, like Jethro was. After the series had wrapped, Bear actually found that he preferred the series more as a viewer than an actor. He said, I like the show more now than I did then. Uh, it's just a funny show. I can look at it more objectively, like, kind of like that's a different person on the screen, like those are four other people up there. He continued, I can appreciate Paul Henning more. I can appreciate the acting of the other people more. And I can appreciate what I did more. <clears throat> Up until yesterday, I never heard uh, Max Bear speak other than Jethro. And I, I watched an old video of uh, Springer when he had Max Bear Jr. and Buddy Epson and Donna Douglas on it. And it was like night and day. I mean, and then he, he did the imitation of Jethro and I was like, you know, it's, it's crazy. I mean, it's just the, the voices don't even sound anything alike. I mean, it's just so neat. Uh, and, and it probably would have been a really good interview had it not been done by Jerry Springer. But, you know, it was back before Springer was all scripted and fights and all that. And he was actually trying to be a, a talk show host. And I don't know how he ever made it, to be honest with you. Uh, maybe that's why I didn't make it like that. And they had to do that to keep him on TV. But. I'm just, if you could tell, I'm not a Springer fan at all. Um, that's all I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I, I got a little laugh out of it myself. And actually, uh, on the Springer show, uh, uh, Jethro, uh, Max Bayer Jr., actually uh, talked about this and made it even funnier for me. And uh, it, it, you can find it on YouTube. It's only like five or six different parts you get to watch, but it's really, it's pretty neat to see them. Um, anyway. Don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia. Uh, did you watch Batman in the 60s? It was almost a Batman versus Godzilla movie. Check that out. Uh, classic rock and country music facts and trivia. It's on Cheap Trick. Uh, please subscribe while you're over there, guys. Please subscribe here. Uh, please share these out. Uh, viewership's way down again. I'm uh, going to have to do something. <laughs> please like this video. God bless. I'm praying for you guys.